Hi, my name is Herb Blomquist. I'm the Executive Director of Chaminade Ministries. And as such, I get to oversee the programs of Camp Shamina in Motley, Minnesota, of Rock Ridge Camp up in Ely, Minnesota, and also serve as the liaison with our many international partners. Here at Camp Shamino, we're celebrating our 50th anniversary. But our history actually goes back a lot further than that. In 1914, the Scandinavian Young People Society began meeting at Buffalo Lake, which later became Buffalo Lake Bible Camp. In 1957, that was sold, and this property here on Lake Shamino was purchased, and we became Camp Shamino. You know, I sometimes wonder if our forefathers, back in those early days, uh, sat around and told stories to each other of what could happen with Christian camping in Minnesota. And I believe they did, because they took the time to construct some places that were special, that where kids could hear the good news of Jesus Christ. They knew that those special places would be places where kids' lives would be changed. In the last uh, 21 years that I've been here at Shamino, we've seen over 300 young people go into full-time ministry and thousands turn their life over to Jesus. It's time for us to continue that legacy. There are many, many things that we want to do here at Camp Shamina to improve our ministry here, and we'd love you to be part of it. Let me show you some of what we plan on. We began construction on the gym a number of years ago, and we have fully used it at every stage of construction over the years. But now it's time to finish this project. Uh, this project is the largest portion of the capital campaign, but what it will allow us to do is to have a place where the entire camp can be inside, regardless of the weather. We're already using the climbing wall uh, that you see behind me and the skateboard park that we've just recently added. What we will do to finish this building is to uh, complete the skateboard park, to put in a second floor where the program offices will move over to. That will allow our program people to be in the heart of the activity that's going on. We'll also be adding an indoor uh, ropes course. That will allow our Chaminade Adventures people to provide more activities regardless of the weather or time of year. This building will require a large septic system and a large uh, heating and cooling units. That will all have to happen as part of this project. We'll also be putting in a uh, portable stage area so that the entire camp can be in this building for that end of the week closing celebration time and also have room for all the moms and dads to participate in that as well. We'll have locker rooms and shower facilities in this building which will make it more functional and above that area will be a very unique bouldering room. Once again, that'll increase the activities that uh, Shamino Adventures is able to provide. I think the things that I'm encouraged by most is that uh, we are finishing what we started. That gym has uh, had a great vision attached to it and now we're getting at it and it's going to be great. Also moving the program offices to there and making that fully functional, fantastic idea. I'm excited about that. I'm also excited um, that we're taking the buildings we have started and, and used, like this one for example, and we're making them more usable. We've lived with them for 20, 30, 40 years and now we're doing things to make them fantastic. So uh, I'm very excited and I look forward to see what the Lord does. The other projects in the campaign include a, re a renovation of all the other buildings on camp. In uh, Ponderosa, we'll be increasing the upstairs meeting room there so that it can seat 100 to 120 and in closing uh, the walkway and the stairways out in front. In Poplar Ridge, we'll be uh, increasing the size of the meeting room again so that we can have a meeting room for between 100 and 120. You know, what's really exciting to me about this capital project is the fact that when it's done, the camp will be able to house a number of different groups at the same time doing different things in different places. Uh, several chapel areas, uh, multiple meeting rooms, groups that might in the past have been in conflict for space will now have their own space. We'll be able to house two or three times as many groups as we could before. In the dining hall we're going to be uh, bumping out the front of the dining hall creating better traffic flow there as well, well as an airlock uh, into the building. And on the back side, we'll be creating a three-season covered uh, porch that overlooks the lake. That'll increase uh, our ability to serve more people in the summertime there, as well as creating one of those outdoor seating areas. I think that the picnic tables out on the deck is just going to be a real positive atmosphere, and it's a great place, an informal place for kids to build relationships and uh, just to get to know each other and just be able to, to hang out and, and just talk about God and the great things he's done.
There are a number of program buildings around camp that will be seeing a facelift as well. The uh, deck on the office will get finished, the prayer chapel will get tiled, both the nature center and the health center will see major upgrades. The shop will have a septic and a well system added. There are two residences on camp that need some landscaping around them. And finally, the speaker housing, which we call House of Aaron, will see a major facelift as well. The Skyview Meeting Room is one of our most underutilized buildings at camp, but it could be made more functional by reconfiguring the entrances to this building and extending the meeting room, which would allow us to uh, seat about 120 in this building. The reconfiguration of this building will also allow us to have several different groups here at camp where they have adequate meeting space and a uh, bathroom and shower facility for their group of cabins. In Ocala, we'll be expanding the meeting room so that we'll be able to seat as many as 500 in that building, as well as improving the entrance, uh, storage facilities, and adding a new outdoor seating area. There is some infrastructure that needs improving around camp as well. We hope to get the road tarred, as well as improve several electrical systems around camp. We are already in the process of remodeling all of our cabins. The lake cabins are done, but now need to be landscaped around them. Three of the Skyview cabins are done. We need to finish off the rest of them. It'll just give all of those areas a facelift and again, make them more efficient and more functional. Finally, in Thorwall, we'll be reconfiguring those rooms uh, just to make them more functional and more pleasant. That building has the potential to have some of the most beautiful views at camp, and so we'll be opening up the window space there and creating places where you can go directly from the sleeping rooms out into some very pleasant decks or patios down below. The bottom line is that all of this will provide a context for a counselor and a camper to spend time together to build a relationship where that counselor can tell that child about Jesus Christ. Our kids love to go to camp. They love family camp. They look forward to it every year. But I think what camp has most meant to me is I um, worked on the staff a couple summers. And um, it just, camp taught me how to share my faith with others. One thing I like about camp is the counselors and the games. Camp is where I accepted Christ as my savior when I was nine years old uh, after um, hearing a speaker at, at a kids camp. So um, camp obviously has a very special part of my, in my life and uh, means a lot to me. I'm really excited about the possibilities of this capital campaign for Shamanaw. Shamanaw for years has had a tremendous impact on the lives of students and then their families and family camp and the camp has been maintaining for so many years. This is an opportunity to upgrade the facilities, to make the facilities improved and better, and to better impact the lives of families, impact the lives of, of students for Christ. Well, there you've seen a small glimpse into the many different projects that are part of this campaign. It's a huge campaign, but I'm very, very excited about how all these different projects will allow us to increase the ministry that happens here at Camp Shamanah, and we'd love for you to be part of it. We'd love for you to help us write the next chapters in this story. In uh, the campaign brochure, you'll find a response card where you can indicate how you want to help, or you can go to shamanallegacy.com for more information, or simply call us here at camp. We'd love to get together with you and share with you our excitement and our vision of what can happen here.